Hey guys, so we're here to pre-plan the week of March 27 through April 2nd. It is that time where we're transitioning. Oh, and my dog. No, leave it, Shadow. Apparently, Shadow wants attention. Okay, so we're going to use this kit from Planning World. It's a gold foiled kit. This was gifted to me. Um, both my kits this week are going to be Planning World. I thought they were both the same foil color, but one is gold and one is rose gold. Look, this week's turning out so cute. Okay, so <clears throat> if you guys know, I updated my links in my bio for my friend's music. Um, he now goes by Black Riff Music. Well, you guys, he's also now starting to release music on Spotify, Apple Music, iTunes, Amazon Music. So check him out if you use any one of those platforms, Black Riff Music. Um, I will link his Spotify. Mm, coffee. I will link his Spotify in my description. But if you use any of the other streaming, music streaming, please do. Also, side note, I want to show you guys this. This is one of the few teeth I've been able to get. His baby teeth are coming out. We now got a big boy. Okay. Although we've kind of always had a big boy. He's always been a big boy. Um, but now he's being a bigger boy. Okay. So what do I want? I think for sure I want this on the bottom. So planning these planning world kits have washi strips. Um, in threes, so you can kind of you can kind of do how you want. Sorry for that noise, guys. He's supposed to be eating his breakfast, but uh, with his, you know, losing his baby teeth and his adult teeth coming in, even when I soften his food, he's having a hard time eating if it's not super duper soft. So he's supposed to be ha having his breakfast, but instead he's trying to play with his toy and he put it in the box next to me. Um, okay, oh, sorry, sorry guys. This paper is a little thick. So I gotta, I gotta put a little bit pressure on it, but I'm trying to figure out what's too much pressure, what's not enough pressure. Okay, then we got these two gorgeous top pieces that we are definitely going to use. And it has amazing, 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 amazing headers. They're gorgeous. Definitely gonna use those. Um, I've never used a Planning World kit, so you know, we're, we're seeing how it works, how it fits, how it works with my planning style. I'm trying not to cut my planner. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm actually going to place that right there. And I'm gonna cut this one. Okay, just a minute. Okay, well he decided he wanted to go outside. Okay, so I cut, pre-cut this. Anyways, um, definitely check him out on Spotify. He's going to be, he's got three, three more songs he's going to be releasing to Spotify. Um, he's got a YouTube channel. I will try to see if I can um, get a Linktree link from him or some side of campsite link from him to make um, linking all of his social medias um, and music stuff together. Okay. Okay. Like, look, I didn't go through the kit. I'm sorry, you guys. Um, so this is adorable. Of course, you guys saw that. I love these pieces right here. The full boxes with the weekly checklist. We have these full boxes and another weekly checklist. Here are the gorgeous headers with some foil boxes and another page of foiled boxes. 
So I don't think that I will have use for those um, empty full boxes. Um, so those will go into my envelope that I'm saving for Brandy if she wants them um, and only if she wants them. Okay. These are gorgeous. I just love that. I love how that, this is, this is making me so happy already. Like I was in a planning slump. I wasn't thrilled with what was happening, but this makes me happy right here. Yep. Yep. Okay. Okay. Um, you can also purchase his music on iTunes, which is awesome. Now the other streaming um, sites, you can listen to his music for free. Um, but if you wanted to support him as a small artist, his single that he has released right now, Apology, is 99 cents in iTunes. And um, I asked him why he chose Apology for his first song on the different platforms. And he said he wasn't sure why he specifically picked this song for release. Um, he just thought it was, it, I, I asked him if it was one of his favorites and then he started getting nervous. Like he goes, uh, did I pick the wrong one for my first release? I said, no, I love all your music. But I was just curious as to why you specifically picked this piece. Um, but I think it was a very good piece to start with. He does a lot of lo-fi um, music. He is trying to expand into different types of music. Um, but yeah, it's a good one. So yeah. Oh, I almost spilled my coffee all over my stickers. Now, I know I've had a lot of kits with the same kind of color theme the last couple weeks. So like, really like, I mean, really. I mean, obviously St. Pat, like look how St. Patrick's Day turned out. St. Patrick's Day was so amazing. But a lot of really soft colors. I don't know, they just spoke to me. Like normally, um, if I have it, see again, soft colors, like almost the exact same soft colors. They just spoke to me this time. Um, sometimes, sometimes I try to do like a bunch of different St. Patrick's Day kits throughout March, but like these kits just spoke to me and it just so happens that they all are like basically the same color palette. Now I know other YouTubers, they don't um, have, or they have a policy of like not using the same planner shops twice in a row, the same type of color scheme, the same foil twice in a row, but I don't care. I love it. I love it. Okay. Okay. Oh, 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 I just realized there are bows. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Can I get you up? Can you come up? Oh, that came up like butter, you guys. Did you see that? Did you see that? What? Okay. Okay. Oh my gosh. Somebody's car alarm is going off. That's annoying. Oh my gosh. You can tell I, like, am I new? Do I, whoops, rip my planner picking that sticker up because I grabbed the planner and not the sticker. It's like I'm new or something here. Did you see that? That was crazy. Anyways, um, like I was saying, so some of the bigger YouTubers, they don't like using the same shop two times in a row. They don't like uh, me. I'm sorry, guys. I love you. 
But like, if I really love a kit and I really want to use a kit, I'm going to use it. It is what it is. And you have to love your planner. And if you don't do something for the sake of loving your own planner, don't do it. Please don't do it. Don't do it to be like anybody else. Do it to be like you. Okay? Okay, make that promise to me. Do it to be like you. Now, this is so pretty. And like normally I wouldn't do like a super picnic-y kit um, this early in the year. But just like it just spoke to me. It just spoke to me and said, let's let's go take a picnic. And I said, okay, let's picnic. Okay, now that I place, because something, okay, so now that I've placed this full box, I'm going to white out because sometimes I put it closer to the column. Sometimes I put it this way. Um, it's chaos right now. I don't know what's happening to me. Um, I must have got really good sleep. Like, I'll be for real, guys. I had such a shit day at work yesterday. Absolute shit day at work. Like, we had to be in an office, and I I don't cry at work, y'all. I don't. I, I make it a policy not to cry at work. Um, and I had a breakdown. I broke down at work yesterday. Um, and you know, I had enough and I was over it and I had a breakdown. So I'm going to leave it at that, um, issues are as resolved as they're going to be. So it's fine. Um, honestly, it's just been overall a bad week. Like Tuesday. Yeah, Tuesday, I was like, you know what? Shadow is doing really well um, around cars and kids and... Um, I think it's time to, you know, he needs more desensitization. He, I, I need to get him around more dogs, right? Now, I know most people, when they say they're going to bring their dog around more dogs, they bring their dogs and, like, go to a dog park or whatever to have them meet other dogs. I was not trying to have Shadow meet other dogs. I was trying to have Shadow just be around other dogs because um, he does really well around bikes, cars, kids, people, lawn equipment, roadways. But other dogs, <coughs> he's a little scared. Um, sometimes he's scared of the dogs. Sometimes he's trying to meet the dog. But people don't realize he's four and a half months now. At this point, he's four and a half months. Actually, he's almost five months. Um, he's almost five months old. So people see him and they go, you're trying to bring this grown ass dog and he doesn't have any manners around other dogs. No, he's a baby. He, he's a baby. So people either see him barking and pulling towards their dog and freak out and run away. Um, and don't let my dog meet their dog. We're going to do straight across the center this week. I think I think that's the vibe I want. Um, and so he's struggling a little because they see him and think, oh, he's a demon dog, right? Um, so I need to get him more comfortable around dogs. So far, other than my sister's dogs, I've only had two people take a look at Shadow and go, nah, nah. Your dog can meet my dog, even with the barking and whatever. He got to play with another four-month-old German Shepherd uh, mix on the trail one day. I think I talked about it in a previous plan with me. And then when I took him to PetSmart, there was a lady with like a Bichon who 
he was barking and pulling towards. And instead of being scared of my dog, cause I was like, oh, he's a puppy, he's learning, I apologize. She's like, oh no, it's fine, it's fine. And so Shadow is trying to get close and her dog isn't scared. Her little Bichon was not scared and was trying to play with Shadow, but then Shadow, I, I could tell Shadow's got about to start getting super overwhelming on the dog, and so I was pulling Shadow away. And the owner, she was so nice. She was like, I guess today's just not the day for you to play with him, and she takes her dog away. Um, but other than that, you know, he's barking at the other dogs. He's trying to get close to them. And, um, and I'm just like, okay, cool, right? It's not the best because he is still barking and pulling, but he's not lunging. He's not, from what I can tell, he's not being aggressive, right? It's not aggressive like behavior. It is um, either he's scared of the dog. Um, he's either a little nervous Or he's trying to get their attention, like pay attention to me, pay attention to me, right? And I'm, I'm that's the behavior I'm trying to fix. I don't want him to do either, right? Um, so we're walking around PetSmart and I just keep walking him up and down the aisles, through the aisles. Every time he is barking <clears throat> or trying to get the attention of another dog, correction, correction, right? I'm trying to correct that behavior. And when he's not doing that and he's being a good boy, treat treat i'm like treats treats oh man i am out of that color because they only gave me one row of those crapola well i love this song you guys um this song was actually created for me by the music producer Black Riff Music specifically for me. Um, and it's beautiful. And no, it is not me singing. I can't sing like that. Y'all have, have heard me in my videos. I've got a terrible singing voice. Does it stop me from singing? Absolutely not. Why? Because I love it. Okay. Okay. Oh my gosh. This Saturday. My dog's going to be five months old. So you're seeing this. Actually, no, Sunday. So the day that you're seeing this video on the 26th, Shadow is five months old. My puppy is five months old when you watch this video. He's still a giant. He's a gentle giant. <clears throat> so the other day, um, I was getting a UPS delivery. And, well, I wasn't supposed to get it on Wednesday. I was supposed to get it on Thursday. So he was supposed to be inside the house on Thursday when I got the delivery. But the delivery truck showed up a day early. And I heard a honk honk. I'll get back to the PetSmart story because that story's not done. I am, like, squirrel. But... So I hear the Hong Kong and I'm like, oh my gosh, Shadow's in the front yard. So I bolt to the front door to grab Shadow to bring him in. And my UPS guy had like peeked his head because I was like, Shadow, come here. So he peeked his head through because he's a smart man. Because he realizes obviously there's a dog or something, right? And he goes, oh my God, I've been delivering to you for a while and you've never had a dog. I was like, yes, I got my, do my daughter's dog for Christmas. And he was like, oh my God, can I meet your dog? Like he loves dogs. So I said, okay, just let me get him to sit. He's a little nervous around new people. Let, we, we, will, we will get you to meet him, but please just give me a minute. And he goes, of course, of course. So then he kneels down and he puts his hands out and Shadow is like really nervous. And he goes, I'm probably making this worse doing this, aren't I? I said, and technically we'll make it work. Don't worry about it. So um, I make him just stay in that position until I can get Shadow to calmly approach him and then of course shadow's thing is 
once he's comfortable with you, he tries to jump on you. So I had to pull him off. I said, sorry. I was like, as soon as he, as soon as he realizes he likes somebody, he jumps all over him. We're trying to work on that. And my UPS guy thought that was just the bee's knees. He's like, I have a lot of dogs on my route. He's so great. I love him so much. He's so cute. And he goes, oh man, how old is he? I was like, because he's like, he's so big. I was like, yeah, when he gets full grown, it's going to be crazy. He goes, no, for real, how old is he? I said, he is only um, four months. And he went, holy crap, he is going to be huge. He goes, oh my God, look at those paws. His paws are huge. I said, I know, I'm in for it, <clears throat> right? But, they, you know, at this point, they're going to have a well-established friendship, so it'll be okay. Um, and... He was just like, he goes, I love your dog. I said, thank you. Thank you for not being scared. You know, because that's just what I need. I need people to give him a chance. Anyways, back to PetSmart. Okay. Um, so he is doing semi okay. He's not doing the best. And I bought a new flat collar because he was, he's, his throat is too big for the original martingale um that i had for him so i needed to buy him a new flat you know new collar and i got this neat one that i really liked but i realized corrections are not corrections don't do anything with that with that collar you know i should have known i've watched enough training videos to know that that is just not going to do it so i'm like okay let me buy a choke chain and for people who don't agree with the choke chain, I, I've tried pinch collars. I've tried e-collars. I've tried no-pull harnesses. I've tried the gentle leader. I've tried all of those. Now it's time for the choke chain. I, so far, I'm not having to do much of a correction for him to understand I probably shouldn't do that. And I got rid of the pinch collar because... When my daughter would come home or my daughter is outside, he will literally allow those teeth to sink in as much as they want to so he can go to my daughter. And I couldn't do that. Um, I know choke chain is not much better than a pinch collar, but it doesn't have teeth that are going to potentially injure him because he doesn't give a shit. Anyways. Um, so yeah, let's see. What else? Do I have anything else for this week? Or is that actually it for my pre-plan? I think that's actually, I don't think I have anything. Um, oh yes, I do have one thing planned. I'm splitting the week with Alex's dad. So that is a sad thing for me. After parent-teacher conference, she's actually going to go with her dad for part of the week because he wants to split spring break. And then next year, we'll get back on track. And yeah, it's great times. Mm, that's not going to do what I want it to do. Let's actually do this. Okay. Okay. <coughs> so let me finish my pet smart story. So I decide I need to buy this choke chain, okay? I'm so distracted today. I'm so sorry, you guys. I looked out the window to check on the dog, and he's just sitting in the mud, living his best life right now, so I'm going to have to give him a good little scrubbing. So I decide I need to buy a choke chain. And as I'm at the register, and as we're in line, every time we move in line, I have Shadow lay down next to me, and he just chills calmly laying down next to me. As we move in line, he gets up, lays down next to me again. So I'm at the register, and he's laying at my feet. And, you know, I've got the, I've got his leash in my hand because I'm not going to let him off leash. And he's laying down at my feet. And a gentleman, 
um, has an Australian Shepherd that as he's walking to the doors of PetSmart, his dog starts freaking out. Um, he sees my dog and sees why his dog is freaking out, pulls his dog away. Then he comes back to the door. The dog starts freaking out again, pulls the dog away. The third time he comes to the door, the dog is freaking out. He decides to come in anyways. I'm trying to pay for my choke collar, my choke chain, and have him take it out of the wrapper for me so I can put the choke chain on him. And the guy's dog immediately comes in and starts lunging, snapping, snarling, biting, uh, barking at Shadow. And Shadow's, again, laying at my feet. So as soon as, like, the barking, okay. But as soon as he starts lunging and snapping his jaw, like, that's when Shadow reacted. Shadow got up, started barking and lunging towards him. And I'm. it's taken everything in me and, like... I hurt my shoulder, my broken shoulder, the one I broke from work a couple years ago. Um, I hurt it keeping him restrained. Again, I'm at the register ready to leave. And this guy is literally like, I guess I'll take my dog this way as he drags, like literally chokes and drags his dog off. Like, sir, you could have waited for me to leave. Your dog literally tried to attack my dog. Your dog tried to attack my dog and you're upset with me? But Shadow's fine. It hasn't really affected him. Um, it's affected me more than him, but that's okay. So thanks so much for watching. Again, this kit is from Planning World. I've got some work stickers from Sticky Sloth Designs. These are pennies from the penny pages. Um, date numbers are from um, Planner Pixie Co. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.